In this video, we'll be learning how to calculate the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Now, to do this, we actually have two formula. The first is Sn equals to n over 2 times u1 plus un. And the second formula is Sn equals to n over 2 times 2u1 plus n minus 1, in parentheses, times d. Now, I'll just box both of these formula. And here's the good news. No matter which of the two formula you choose in an exercise, they both always work. So let's just get that out of the way. They both always work. Nevertheless, at times you'll go faster and are less li you'll be less likely to make a mistake if you choose one formula rather than the other. Now, we'll tend to use this first formula when we know u n. In other words, when we know the nth term of the arithmetic sequence. So I'll just write u n is known. And when we don't know the nth term of the arithmetic sequence, or we're not given its formula, we'll use the second formula. So I'll just say u n, the nth term, isn't known. And it's sort of that simple. Very often we'll just, our criteria for choosing which formula to use can be as simple as that. So let's go ahead and see an example. Let's say we're asked to find the sum, or I'll just write calculate the sum of the first 10 terms, 10 terms of the sequence. defined by un equals to 3n plus 2. Now, to begin with, looking at this formula we've been given, this is definitely an arithmetic sequence. So we can go ahead and use our first formula. We'll use this formula simply because we've been given the arithmetic sequences formula. So we can write, okay, we know that sn equals to n over 2 times u1 plus un, and so for the sum of the first 10 terms, that would be S10. In other words, all we need to do is replace n by 10. And that would lead us to S10 equals to 10 over 2 times u1 plus u10. Now, at present, we don't know what u1 and u10 are. But luckily, we can calculate these with this formula that we were given. So let's get that done. u1 will be equal to 3 times 1 plus 2 which equals to 5, and u10 will equal to 3 times 10 plus 2, which equals to 32. So we now have those two terms, u1 and u10. So the sum of the first 10 terms will be s10 equals to 10 over 2 times 5 plus 32. Simplifying this a bit, that leads us to 5 times 37, and that should lead us to 185. So the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence is equal to 185. Now, let's look at another example. Let's say we're given the following. We're given the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, and so on. And we're asked to find the sum of the first 100 terms. All right, now in this particular case, we're not given the arithmetic sequences formula. So, when we're, since we're not given it, we're going to use the second formula for the sum, which was Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2u1 plus n minus 1 times d, and that's it. So, let's see how this is done. We need the first term and the common difference. And the reason why I say this is because looking at this formula, I can see I've got u1 here and d. Well, look at our sequence, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. We can see that the first term is 2. And, moving through this sequence going from left to right, we can see that we're always adding the same amount, which is 3. So, we can now write u1 equals to 2 and d, the common difference, is equal to 3. 
So now that we've done that, we can write Sn equals to n over 2 times 2 times u1, which was 2, plus n minus 1 times d, which is 3. So for the first 100 terms, that would lead us to S100 equals to 100 over 2 times 4 plus 100 minus 1 times 3. Simplifying this a bit would lead us to 50 times 4 plus 99 times 3. Carrying on, this leads us to 50 times 4 plus 297, which leads us to 50 times 301. And you can go ahead and check with your calculator. 50 times 301 should equal to 15,050. So the sum of the first 100 terms of this arithmetic sequence is equal to 15,050. And so that's how we calculate the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. Remember, we have the choice between two formula. And I'll just write those again here. The first formula was Sn equals to n over 2 times u1 plus un. And the second formula was Sn equals to n over 2 times 2u1 plus n minus 1 times d. And we use the first formula when we know the formula of the arithmetic sequence, and we'll use the second formula when we don't, or when it's not given to us. And there you go.